Hey, I'm Ann Sturdivant. My husband Bill and I built this house. We moved in in 1966. The architect was John Hearing. I had had some uh, architectural engineering courses, so I also helped design the house. One of my oh, most special parts is this wall, which I saw in Tel Aviv, Israel, in a hotel. And I thought it was one of the prettiest things I'd ever seen, so we put this in the house. And I think it, it it's just was beautiful at that time when the uh, light would come through. It's just beautiful. And it's really especially nice at night when it's lit from the other side. I thought of this, uh, these doors here, this wood is solid ash. And um, all of these doors opened for storage all across this wall. Plus you have the pass through so that it makes it real handy for the dining room table or if you have company. It was also my idea to stand a paving brick on the side and inset the carpet in the paving brick. My neighbors across the street came over and were very mystified about this house in this sunken area. They couldn't figure out what we were doing and it was because we had had the paving bricks. And it's a wonderful floor because you can walk on it with wet feet, you can do just about anything you want to and you cannot hurt it. We are in a room that is on the front of the house that was originally a carport. And I went ahead with the colored glass, did the same thing on the end for privacy and the fact that I did not want to drape that. I felt like that was quite a pretty architectural feature and I didn't want to drape it. We used this room when we lived here for entertain for the kids and their television and their friends and their card games and etc. Uh, it was always full of kids. Uh, this was a planter area that we was originally outside and when we enclosed it we moved it inside and we put added skylights which help the plants as you can see grow to the light and do beautifully. This was my one of my original trees. This tree was got down to just a stub and so I was so mad at it because it wasn't growing that I threw it out in the backyard in the pot and I left it. Well somehow the the pot got turned over in the in the course of being out in the yard with the kids and it laid out there for a year and it was just this stick and so I walked past it in the spring and it was growing leaves and I said if you want to live that bad I'm going to bring you in the house so I brought it in and look what it's doing isn't that amazing this is was our den off the kitchen and I wanted a gas grill indoors as well as outdoors so I had a gas grill built in and then we put this hood on which a gentleman that was uh, worked for my husband's father that also did the copper work on the gazebo downtown made this hood and the fireplace hood. But the kids as they when they were teenagers came in that door and so my husband sat here and I sat over there in a couch and we, were wa we would watch TV but we would stay awake until midnight, which was their curfew. And they would come in that door and walk across and they would come over to here and they would say, Hi, how are you? And we'd say, Good. They'd say, Good. Good night. And they'd go real carefully back to their room. Again, we had the gentleman who built, did the gazebo also constructed this hood for this fireplace. And uh, I don't think anything's been done to it in several years and it maintains its shine and looks very pretty. And we're, we have really, did really enjoy this copper fireplace. This is our master be uh, bedroom when we lived here and uh, originally we had a vanity here with a slate, black slate top and our shower was right here and our stool there and the wall to the bedroom was right 
right here. And around in the early 90s or late 80s, we added this bathroom. This is the master bath that we added, uh, a large tub with a lot of jets. We put uh, stone around here and on the counter. We uh, had uh, enclosed the stool and, and you can come to the stool from this side as opposed to the hallway. Uh, a shower and a large walk-in closet and I also added an ironing board in case I ever ironed which I don't like to do. Loved this bathroom and hated very badly to leave it. Hi, I'm Cecilia Holly. My husband and I, Scott, are the second owners of this house. There's a place for everybody to play. Um, we have a place for the family to hang out together. There's a living room where the kids primarily hang out and they can be undisturbed. And this is the grown-up living room. And this is mostly where we hang out when we have friends over. The acoustics are wonderful. We have a good friend, Stacy Sanders, that comes in and entertains us sometimes. This is the place to be. Um, the fireplace in the corner, we absolutely love. And the neat thing about, uh, about the windows in this room is you can grow anything. And we moved here from Long Beach, California, and we could only have a Christmas tree the size that would fit in the elevator. So the first thing we did when we moved here on our very first Christmas was buy the biggest Christmas tree that existed in the town of Enid, and we shoved it through that sliding glass door, and it went all the way to the ceiling, which is about 15 feet. Uh, we also really love the neighborhood. Our kids' friends are all very close by, and they congregate at each other's houses. It's been fun for us um, because it's just central to everything. We have a great elementary school that's very close to the junior high school. Everything is close by. For everyone. I need a painter. For everyone. Can I say Indian Hills Rocks or is that too cheesy?